Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So we are back and um, we have a bunch of general hamburgers, <laughs> or hansburgers, sorry. I, I created the uh, summoning altar there and I went through the summoning altar and um, yeah, I created a bunch of these guys. So if you go summoning altar, it was a very easy one. Uh, right click, I guess, and then there it is. So you just need to do one bone shard, one raw beef, the devil dust, and leather, and then, uh, or the bone shard, and then, yeah, the leather is your catalyst, and yeah, I created them. <laughs> so, um, they're a bit buggy, actually. Uh, when you go from the portal here, back in here, they bug out, and I wonder if it's related to their name tag or some other kind of rendering. So what I'm going to try here is I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to see if I can, there you go, get these guys to not be so buggy, maybe. I think they're all, yeah, I think what I can do is done. They, they, they bred a few of them anyway, so I'll see if that fixes it. And here is our garden. So this is our... Um, what was this one? I forget now. Is this fruit-based stuff, I guess? Yet yeah, there's cotton there, so that can't be it. Oh, coffee beans. Okay, never mind. So this is your... Um, I think this is grain over here. Sorry, I'm not really good with uh, stuff. This is grain. And then this is your fruit over on this side. And this is your vegetable. Ve vegetable is all of this and back to here, if you can believe that. And then there's one thing that isn't uh, a vegetable here. I think it's on this side. This stuff is not uh, no names, and this is protein. So I thought I'd grow protein because then I can put it in this food container. And so I have a bit of everything in a sense right now in here. So I got cotton, which is grain, dairy and fruit, fruit, fruit. Yeah, I should probably cut more less fruit in there. Protein and vegetable. So uh, the way I got dairy was I took a clay bucket from the cows and I went to my work table. And I'll just tell you, I won't show you because I don't have a clay bucket and I don't want to waste too much time doing that. So I went to my uh, my little thing in my island, and we're still living here right now, but I am trying to leave here, so I might leave most of what we have here, but I want to start, like, you know, on the, the other place. Let's get rid of this stuff. Uh, anyway, so I went over here, and I pour the clay bucket in here, and then I legitimately use, uh, where is it? Well, I can show you yogurt. Yogurt. Um, so I take the, this pot, or, or sorry, I take the clay bucket and I fill up the thing, and then I use this pot in here with the milk, and I get four fresh milk, and then I take the four fresh milk, and, uh, where is the recipe? Here you go. The, there's a yogurt recipe. How do you do the yogurt one, though? Oh, sorry, here you go. You take the pot and the, the fresh milk. And you create your yogurt. And then I duplicated the yogurt with just leather. Since I had some leather, I just thought, why not? So I duplicated that. And then all I did was give it a fruit. I don't. It wasn't strawberries. It's whatever the one I gave it there. But, uh, yeah, I gave pineapple to it. And increased it to 0.9%. So that way, my nutrition here, if you hit N key, this will finally start going up a bit. Uh, because it was getting pretty low. I think at 15 or 10 or something, you get some nasty effects from it. Uh, so yeah, that's what I did anyways, and actually I can eat some of this now anyways, talking about that. Okay, so, um, yeah, today we're gonna do a bit of mining, well, attempt to, uh, look at a bit of mining, actually. Because I haven't done any kind of mining yet, really. Um, we got these portal things, and I think I know how these kind of work now, so I'm gonna bring this shard here. And I think the way it works is... Um, this will let you teleport to wherever it's linked. So if you use this right here, for example, right? And then you place this down, say, over here for whatever reason. And then you right-click this. You can use this. There you go. You hit shift and it teleports you. There you go. So, and then you can shift right-click and get your crystal back. And I think if you shift right-click... Oh, maybe it'll just create... Oh, it looks like it'll just create a new one. I think if you can craft it out as well. Okay, you can craft it and unlink it as well. So why this is sort of good is you could do a return one technically, but why this could be useful is you can place this here and then you can use this while mining and looking for resources. So I think that's kind of cool. Anyways, let's go ahead, get ourselves the scanner out of here 
as well as let's get the blank scanner uh, module out of here. And apparently there's a quest for that, so we're going to check that out. But it's mostly just for our, our own sake and use today, but sure that'll help. And let's go ahead and let's get that out of the way. This has to be converted into a rare module, which is going to have to get you these guys. So you're going to need, uh, was it eight of them or seven of them? I wasn't sure if it was. Oh, it was all eight. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to put these guys in here and put you in here. I think it was a hammer. There you go. And then what you can do is shift right click here and you can put the uh, module in here. And you can actually get other modules as well. So if you go type in scannables, you've got the range module now. Range module can't use yet because you need an ender pearl. So we're not quite at the stage of making ender pearls. Not yet anyways, hopefully soon. Um, but, um, or guest here, yeah, no, no thanks. But when you hold this down, this will scan, well, maybe, maybe 20 blocks or so, maybe a bit more. Um, maybe even 40, I don't know. Uh, I really don't know the range, but it'll help you find uh, materials. And that's where this other one comes in handy. So let's go ahead and um, I know where some iron is because of the plant type. So there's two options where you can find materials. You can find them via plants, which is probably the easiest way because if you look what's on the surface, then you use the scanner to find it. So these plants indicate there's iron and how you do this is simple. Uh, Gloria saw something Daisy, right? So what you do is you hit your uh, open your journal or your quest book. You go over here, and then basically you just check this out right here. And so you're like, okay, so what's up here? And you, know, you look around, and uh, you notice the one that we said here. Here you go, Daisy. And then you can see gold, iron, magenta, uh, and there you go, mag magnetite ore. And I actually need these ores, like all these. Gold especially could be very useful for what I want to do. So that's that's very useful, right? And uh, I guess we should finish this, but I don't want my reward. Oh, wait, my reward was, oh, no, it was something else. Ender pearl dust. Okay. I could probably use something with that. I'm sure that's useful later on, but... Or do you think it's more like a pure troll right now and has zero uses right now? <laughs> yeah, maybe it has no good uses right now. You never know. Anyways, uh, so yeah, so now that we know that there's iron in the area, we're going to use a scanner. We're going to try to find... There it is. So that, that indicates there's something precious underground, which is probably gold and iron and a few other things. So uh, let's hit F7. Remember, mobs are horrible in this thing. So even when we're tunneling down, we don't want to you know ruin things. Now, Electro had a good idea of how you're supposed to tunnel down, but I really don't know exactly what that was. So we're just going to do it our way for now. So this is my first time mining, actually, if you can think about it. Oh, my internet spiked. Look at that, 1,300 ping. Of course, I had to spike that high. Um, let's put this in the offhand, and that way you can easily... There you go. So, let's see here. I'm thinking I'll start... Uh, let's try this. Oh, yeah. Well, it's lit up like a Christmas tree now. So, let's go like this, and we're going to start spinning around here, I think. Okay, so we got that one... I think we're going to just open this one so they can get there. Okay. Well, it's probably us, not them. There you go. It's not the best way, and I mean, I'm just doing it for fun here. What I like to do is straight go straight down and straight back up. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to run out of... This is the downside of this. I should have brought myself some wood, and I should have brought uh, some a few things, to be honest. So, Because we're going to have issues already mining down here. So I'm assuming we got our dairy, yeah, 17%. So hopefully now that stuff starts going up, 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 up instead of down. So what I need is at least some sticks and a crafting bench with us. So, because these these ones suck anyways, and this is not going to disappear. So I'm going to have to avoid that. Oh, you can actually do it through. I think I removed the button here, but you can do the trash can and put this in here, and then there you go. That's the appropriate way. Okay, so we need uh, one, two, three, four, and here's some sticks. And then we can just go like this and crafting table. And actually, we don't even really need the crafting table. You know what? We don't even need the crafting table. We don't need that with us right now because we just do it here. 
we'll just dump extras out when we don't need them, right? Okay, so we're going to go back here. It's nighttime, but we should be safe. My island has most lights in except this little peak here. I have to still go back and do that. But I've really concentrated the torches around here. I've done my best to try to make sure every inch of my property is well lit. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I've done uh, for that. So there we go. And I think I might even change this up now. Now this is not well lit down here. This is gonna give me get me sick eventually. So what I'm gonna do is redo this. I think. Um, so how you want to redo this? Well, simple. I'm gonna go boom, 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 and then I'm gonna actually expand this temporarily. Screw it. Okay, and we're gonna just light up here so we don't have any darkness down there, anyways. Okay, so you go in here, and then what we're gonna do is you're gonna start going this way. There you go, something like this. That's what I think I'm gonna do here. Now I've never tried the flint pick. They don't show up in JEI, but I wonder if that works. Cause somebody said you can do the hoe flint version, the Greg Tech one, so I should try that. I don't know how much of a difference it would make, but there you go. And we're gonna go this way now. There you go. And we might not be able to mine all this either, right? Because like, there's only so much you can mine up because of um, your tools, right? So keep that in mind. Like, uh, I might be able to mine iron, but I might not be able to mine the gold, for example. So I guess there's a underground map to this spawn or my thing is going crazy <laughs> seeing red spots that looks like lava <laughs> lava pool or something another lava pool we're starting to get down there so we should be hitting it pretty soon here we might have to oh right there i was gonna say we might have to change our course on some stuff but there you go so this my friends is iron and there you go task complete this, oh, my pick broke, so this sucks. I uh, guess you just throw it out. This is where you, this is why there's a trash can bind, I guess. Uh, so trash can, there you go. And it was originally to delete keys, so the idea is you hit delete and you can get rid of stuff like that. So, um, okay, so yeah, let's mine some of this up. So there you go, another material. Yes, you can mine gold already, cool. So there you go. And yeah, so we can start uh, working with this right away, I guess. I was hoping I would get gold because I think I need gold really badly for casting related stuff, but I don't know how it works because we don't have, you don't get to actually make the full Tinker's casting stuff. So that's what's kind of interesting on what we have here. So uh, what are we missing? We're missing actual iron ore. Literally, we have it all, but this one right here. There you go. So, and your reward is actually two gold ingots and two iron ingots. Cool. I didn't even know he was on. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's my internet. A thousand milliseconds and a few jumps there. It gets really bad during holidays. It's like, oh no, our, everything's good. You know, they got the new microwave dish up and, you know, oh no, you know, it's all good. But, you know, during a holiday, like Easter... <coughs> Yeah, it likes to spike a lot, and on weekends and things like that, and yeah, bull, bull, bull. There we go.
Now I'm just mining a bunch here. I don't really need to go all crazy, but anyways. This is uh we're doing good here. So this is this is your iron stuff and you got a bit of everything. The gold was one of the things I wanted the most here uh for the starter of what we're going to do. And of course gold ended up being something we got quite a bit out of that. So that that's basically mining 101 for you guys right there. That's that's how you do it. You get down there, you do it. So I guess we can accept the reward since we have the inventory space here. So there you go. One of many uh, veins found. And then you're going to want to eventually, I guess, uh, you're going to want to bookmark all these. Now, I don't know how they're doing them here, but you're going to probably want to call them. So I guess you call them what they are calling them here. So M-A-G-N-E tight vein. There you go. I'm just typing it on another screen. And then we can go comma. This is how I said it, of course. Add. And then we can go, I guess we can do what? Gold for these. Uh, and I'll just keep them that way all the time. Confirm. And then we want to disable. There you go. Excellent. And then, oh, I can, I guess I can share it with other people. I don't know if they're sharing that stuff, but there you go. I can just share it. There you go. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our other world because we don't have a, a house or anything built out in the open yet. I'll start doing that off camera eventually here. And then we're going to check this thing up. And, uh, yeah. Too far away. 2,000 blocks. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Uh, I actually, I guess, can you, you can't even stack them. Okay. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very low level way it's done. These ingots will be good because I can make the cast out of this if it works this way. So first of all, this is a casting basin and a faucet. They're very easy to make. All I did was I grabbed the seared brick here that we already have and I crafted the faucet like this because I was testing this, right? And then that works. And then you can craft the basin this way. And then uh, it goes like this. There you go. There you go. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, you, you create this one. And what I'm going to attempt to do here, or at least that's my attempt here, is I want to make the ingot caster. So I'm going to take my piece of iron here as a, a sacrifice to the gods. And there you go. You got the, that. And I'm hoping it'll pour, and it ain't pouring. So I actually have no clue how you use all this to make a cast, to be honest. So... Cast might be more difficult than I was expecting. Oh, blank cast and chisel. Maybe not so difficult. There we go. Okay, so they're doing it funny, but that's fine. We, we're we all good for funny business in this game. I like unique and funny. Um, as long as it works, right? So let's just get rid of random stuff because my inventory is getting annoying. And this, I hate this thing. Just dump it off the edge. These ones, they will despawn because they're not tinkers. That's why I like them a bit better. Uh, so there you go. You got your cast. And we're going to take this into chisel. So chisel, um, you can get chisel from this. It's made from iron anyways, piece of iron. But you can get one for this EMC value. And you put them in here. And there you go. So we're going to do ingot cast just like this. And there you go. So, oh. You needed... I guess you use two gold for that. I never checked to see how much this uses, so we'll see once it melts here. But, uh, yeah, I didn't think of checking that out. Can I melt you guys? No, you can't melt. You can. The magnetite can melt. It should turn into iron as well, so. I guess this is a good example, molten iron. One to one, yeah. So I guess it takes two to make the cast, I guess. So if you check here... And you check the pour two ingots, yeah. So that's what it is. So there you go. And we can just pour that in there. 
And we got a second one for later use. You might have a use for it. We can also use uh, make it Tinker's heads and stuff with this, right? So I can make a Tinker's pickaxe head with this and start pouring that and stuff like that. So this is this is kind of getting you into some some cool stuff here. Though I'm not sure if I'll use the Tinker's. I'll have to play around with it, right? But uh, molten iron. There you go. So here you go. We use this cast, and ta-da! This is how you would make an iron ingot. And there you go, my friends, and you have an iron ingot made. Pretty simple, straightforward. And there you go, two iron ingots. So that is how you use this whole contraption or how it's supposed to be used, I guess, to start with. And then you just do a lot of mining. You you know, you go back and forth. Now, tinkers, I don't know if they have any kind of tinkers anything in here. Um, it's not like something I really care to look in here anyways because there's so much here. But, uh, wow, look at the magic stuff. Holy crap. I need a mother for that. Um, there's an enchantment table there. Actually, what is the enchantment table cost here? Okay. Out of there we go. This one is supply chain and blah, blah, blah. So it's just random stuff. Oh, but you got your iron chest here. And you got a bronze chest you can make. Modular storage and other types of, you know, stuff. AE, cool. And then God's Plan, which are like the, the big main tier, you know, complete. So, cool. Okay, so Tinkers. I guess you just go Tinkers and Table, I guess. We'll start with a table of some sort. So, Stencil Table. Looks like Stencil Table works, so that's good. Um, let's look outside of Stencil Table. I don't care about the t table. It's a tool something? Tool? Tool Table? Tool Forge? Ah, tool station. Oh, and here's these guys. You can pick whatever, but they're block-based. So you need, like, a block of iron to make this. Um, so I guess any any kind of material, right? Tool forge iridium. Cool. Tool forge block of iron. So um, you remember how I told you to do this with the other method? You would just flip this around and put the basin one in here. So I put it away, I guess. But there you go. You'd use the basin and you could fill up the iron and make the tool ones that, that way. But I'm going to ignore that for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to see if I can make anything out of here. So um, you can make tinkers. Oh, let's do tinkers and then tool uh, station, I believe. There you go. So let's go. Oh, pure daisy. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so a pure daisy is made in a basic work table, maybe? Oh. Oh, mana. I know where to get mana. So we got buckets. Can we make... Let's see here. I got a couple more iron here. Because um, I found it. But we know how to make the iron anyways. We got it from the quest reward. And there was some other. Can we make regular buckets? Bet you can't. But we're going to try. No, you can't. So bucket, I assume, is going to be plate based, right? So there it is. And yeah, iron plates. So make iron plates. You need to smash the metals down. Um, and double iron ingot. So you have to take two. Yeah, basically two iron to make that and then you take that and you smash it down again what is this called i've never so you need more iron probably for those i don't know if those can be done in like say stone you could try a stick and stone but i don't think you're gonna get far stick and stones break my bones okay and then cobblestone there you go so I assume this would not work, but we're going to try it anyway. Yeah, it didn't work. That was uh, a known. Okay, so we probably can still get this without that. So we're going to go ahead. You remember last time we tried to make these buckets? Was it last time? Uh, it wouldn't have worked. It would have just sat outside here because these this chest was full. So they would have despawned. I'm just going to let you know those conveyors will let items despawn. And I did fill it up accidentally, and they wouldn't have gone in that chest. So I did waste the good chest. So... Letting you know I screwed up on that one. So if we go out here, um, there are... You're, you're looking for mana, and I have some around. I don't know exactly the actual spots of them around the map. But um, I've come across maybe two or three. Okay, so I just did a cut there. I found it. It was actually further away. You can actually see this one on the map. I know there's other spot, like probably right friggin' at our farm there. I will be back if that's the case, but there you go. Ooh, mana leak. 
Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll run that way. F screw it. We'll do the exercise. I won't cut it from here because at least we have it. I'll show you our force. So it, it's beautiful because it's nighttime and uh, very dark outside, but I've literally taken the time to go around and make it quite uh, quite nice anyways. Uh, I have a few spots I have to fix. Uh, this little area needs to be fixed completely, but overall, most areas should be lit up. And I'm getting even these small spots. Normally, I wouldn't care, but if it has even a small chance of summoning something really, you know, scary, it could ruin our day. And I, I just didn't want that. So, um, yeah, I'll I'll just patch anything I see when I go through our forest over time. And we'll well uh, not will I'll probably do it myself, but I will go and look for ores around here as well. I'll probably show you more on the map. Like I'll say, okay, guys, this is my map. You know, okay, so this is the ore I found here, and this one over here, and I'll I'll do it that style. But I don't think I will uh, make you guys you know go through too much suffering. So, but anyways, let's go back, and uh, I do want to check that one spot over here. I have a feeling this is another pool right here. The pool I wanted to get, to be honest. So, let's see. It says it's right... Oh, that's a water pool. Okay. I know there's another mana pool somewhere there, but you know what? We had to go all the way in that deep. Whatever. So be it. So, we're just going to go here. And I'm hopping and jumping. I'm going to hop and jump a lot more now that I have food I can make. And I need to get my stuff up, right? So... And I noticed my cows were actually showing up when I teleported, so I was really happy about that. Sometimes they don't when I do teleport. Maybe with the baby cows there or the new kinds, it's fixed it. I don't know. Okay, it's storming in here. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and try this out. So we have nothing in here. Okay, so you're supposed to put this in here. And then you're supposed to put the Oxa whatever one in there, right? This one here. And I think... Oh, put that back and then uh, I don't know what else we have to put in there uh, so what were we doing <laughs> it was oh the daisy day this thing right here pure daisy oh and we have to put one of these in here and there you go and the purest of them all and I forget how this even works to be honest but uh, I know it, it does something I don't know if it has to draw mana from the area so we'll have to figure that out but let's see where it's hitting here. So we got, uh, we hit something over here. Here is the bucket. So, and you get a black lotus, which, oh yeah, you can use the black lotus. Oh, I literally lost three packets there. Yay. This is just gonna how, how my Let's Play series are going to be these days because my internet is that crappy. And unless if they're going to fix it, which they're not because they've literally been in my house multiple times and they're, you know, saying, oh, it's fine. <laughs> You've you've guys dealt them. Anyways, there you go. That's planted. So um, yeah. So I think you're supposed to. I don't know how it works, honestly. Um, because we were looking at it and we saw it over here. The transformation. No, that wasn't it. We got that. Okay. So yeah, we'll play around with it. Uh, what were we looking for? I forget. Okay, let's just go to Tinker's Tool Tinker tool station and we'll just go back to that oh there you go basic workbench on a pure daisy that part is a little confusing on me but i will be willing to try it um so let's get some planks here here's four planks exactly and it wants this darn basic tool so oh my inventory uh let's get rid of these for now we're gonna actually need you because if we have to use the the, the basic tools here we're going to need you, and we need some flint. I don't have flint, but can I find it? No. Wow, I don't really have that. Oh, there it is. That's a decent amount. Okay. And, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make you. We're going to make uh, you. We're going to make you. Wait, there you go. You. And then, oh, yeah, it's stone, not that one you need stone of course you know I have a bunch of them because I know I wouldn't have used them all but where are they who knows there they are and so there you go we're gonna use you use you and then we'll use you oh sorry <laughs> use you and then you're gonna sit in the thing like this 
And I know, I think this this one was there, but I forget. Oh, yeah, that worked. There you go. Now, I don't know if this works here. I feel like you're supposed to have something else, but... <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, I remember. Oh, yeah, the pure daisy takes, like, stone and turns it into something else. And Okay, actually, that will work. That will actually work. So that's going to turn it in. It's doing it now. I forgot about the pure daisy. It's a placeable. So you surround it and then you put your items there and it'll slowly uh, do its little magic trick. So that is kind of cool. Okay. So if we go here, apparently we just started in Batania slightly. Uh, so right here we got the bucket and you get an iron drum, which I could fill that up with lots and some kind of manacle. Uh, maybe for just fun. I don't know. So we got these two items, and the drum is actually really useful because I could use this to fill up with, say, lava or whatever I want, and or the uh, the essence here. And there you go. There's your table. Ooh. Okay, and then you got the pure daisy done. So you get some white petals, which we'll just store away for now. And, yeah, cool. And then, yeah, so you can do the living rock. So living rock is made from just regular rock. So, actually, I lied. Light concrete, Greg Tech. <laughs> it does not look easy. Yeah, so apparently that is not as easy as I thought because it says light concrete. Yeah, so concrete is a whole different game, apparently. Cool. Uh, this stuff, which don't know. No, you need some ores, I think, for that one. Okay. Uh, narco, I have no clue what this is. I don't even think it's giving me what I needed there. Some wizardry stuff. Oh, here you go. No, I need it that way. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Anyways. Cool. So, yeah, at least we were able to get to the tool station. And then what I'll do is I'll do a bit of mining. And then, uh, oh, apparently having that in my inventory is actually a reward for somewhere. Might as well grab it. Oh, here it is. Ah, here we go. So this is the tool station. And then the blank cast, which we have one of those sitting around here somewhere. There you go. So you have the blank cast here. And you get a couple two gold ingots for that. So, for, for, you know, you get back. And then this one is about making the tool forge, which I told you guys about, which uh, I guess we can do that for next time. I'll just I'll start sm uh, smelting up more iron and getting that ready. And then this is a steel hammerhead uh, part of that stuff. So what I'll probably do is I'm going to start building some stuff outside and we're going to get prepared for that. And yeah, we got to do some stuff for that before I, I get ready. But uh, either way, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.